Good morning and welcome to day one of the Australian Men's and Mixed National Championships. We are live to you from Bendat Stadium. My name is Mandy Love and we are covering the very first round in the 23 and under division which sees New South Wales coming up against the Queensland Suns. Queensland Suns coming off the back of a 2022 national champs. So they are the one to chase this year. Apparently six of their players from the victorious team last year uh, are back for this season. So a very good game on our hands. New South Wales weren't in the 23s division last year, but they are looking to come in strong for the 2023 Australian Men's and Mixed National Championships this year. Starting off with their starting lineups with the home team with New South Wales in goal shooter. We have Halmai, goal attack, Vimpany, wing attack, Aaron Mala, centre, Keo, wing defence, Hutchison, goal defence, Knight, and in goalkeeper, they have Welmer, their coach, Aaron Coglin, and assistant coaches, Dave and Jane Huey, who are long stalwarts of the New South Wales system, and their manager, Ali Hutchinson. For the Queensland Suns, we've got in goalkeeper, Cook, Vincent Cook, goal defence, Watson, wing defence, Price, centre, Morton, wing attack, Crone, goal attack, Jordan, goal shooter, Thompson. They also have their coaches, Riley Ruhi and Lachlan Dean, their manager, Danielle Sewell. So last final messages from the coaches as we kickstart off round one of the Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Association Championships. We're in for a big one. The 23s division this year has got six teams. It's the future of men's netball in this division. Who are the next up-and-coming superstars? Players to watch in today's matchup is the goal attack for Queensland Suns. Their captain in Jordan. You'll spot him with the fancy shoes. He's got the green and gold shoes. Looking for a green and gold experience out there today. And in for the New South Wales outcomes them. Spoke to their coach Aaron Coglin before the game. And she advised me that she actually has a couple of the boys from the ACT joining the team this year, as well as a couple of imports from the basketball realms who played in the M League. So New South Wales to kick us off, going from running to the left and an instant break. Oh, Coach Killer to start us off. So Suns with the ball. This is the start they'll need. So coming to the top, there's the man we talked about, Jordan. He offloads. Gets an obstruction call, penalty goal, and that's the start that Queensland needed. So one all, oh, excuse me, one nil. And quick feed off the line as the defence comes through. Has to go back out to the transverse. Kicking it through. Oh, the placement on the ball, very nicely done as the Suns line up another penalty pass. Here's Jordan with the ball, offloads to Thompson. He looks like he's their main go-to guy. Here's a chance for New South Wales. What can they do? Oh, great footwork off the line from uh, Cron, from oh, excuse me, from Hutchis, Aaron Marla. Again with a ball in head, middle channel. He works in his midcourt to the circle edge. Oh, defensive reach from the Queensland Suns. That was a beautiful tip by Watson. Did get caught out of play for the contact. Lining up. And a steadier for the New South Wales team from their goal attack in Vimpany. So the scores are currently 2-1. Here's Jordan to Thompson along that baseline with the split. And delivers for his team. That's three goals for him right now. Bit of a wall set up. And up called for the obstruction call. Aaron Marla kicks it to circle edge. Double teamed against the New South Wales shooter in Halmai. Oh, the GD comes up. And just out of court. So it'd be a Suns pass on the sideline. Defensive throw in. Goes back into the shooting circle. Has to play it short. Coming through Morton. Long cross-court ball to Watson. Finds that long connection. There's Jordan racing through. Oh, a nice setup for, uh, for Thompson at the back too. Definitely the playmaker is Jordan. How am I score? Oh, excuse me. Thompson has scored all the goals so far for Queensland. And a breaking call against Jordan. So here's a break back for the New South Wales. Can they make them pay? Oh, just a missed time pass on that one. Right idea, right intention. Just the connection. We're gone missing. And out of court along the baseline. 
very frantic start right now. I think, you know, being the first game of the champs, everyone's really excited and every team just needs to settle and get into their work rate. Great defensive setup as Jordan intercepts, connects to Thompson. Does he make it finish? Yes, he does. That's five goals. And great defensive pressure again. And you can see the defensive setups. They're, like, they're playing offline, so they're not directly one-on-one, -on -one, the Queensland Suns. So, and a stepping footwork call against Aaron Marla. That's really unfortunate for the Sky Blues. And just through the breadbasket of Morton there, but tidied up from the wing attack in Cron. Thompson will inch himself closer. And again, scoring his sixth goal for the game. So scores currently 6-1 right now. So Queensland off to a very tidy start. Stepping call against Jordan. Those watching at home, you can't take the extra step. Must land on the one foot and then the, another foot can rotate and pivot. Those who come from basketball do suffer with this, with this particular rule. And how am I with the hold? Gets his first touch of the game. Oh, early miss, so nervous start perhaps. Nice defensive pressure here though from the Sky Blues across the transverse. Everyone's jamming here on the line. Queensland able to get through that very nicely. So thank you for tuning in to Clutch TV to watch this live coverage of the games here at Bendat Stadium. Thomas... And Jordan, good contest there against Knight. Thought Knight had a good touch on it. Have to reset the penalty. And drops it low for Thomas Thompson, excuse me. He's definitely a strong target down there at the back. So Aaron Marla connects into Keo. And Conte called good release, early release, and oh, so unfortunate. How am I just couldn't deliver the ball back in? So they just need a settler for the Sky Blues. Long ball. Oh, the wing attack for Queensland is just slicing and dicing right now. That is Cron. Oh, the elevation as well on the goalkeeper, Welma. Once he gets his timing right, that could be very dangerous. Here's Jordan. Thompson out of, court, out of the circle. Held up. So, yep, sliding into the wall. Thompson with the split through the middle of the circle. Oh, that's very cute how they did that little shooter to shooter. And Jordan gets his first goal for the champs. Aaron Marla, who can he connect with? He goes, goes back to Keo right now. How am I ready for that ball? Asking the Hussar will receive. And there's a settler for him. So goal is so, the score is currently 9-2. to two, So great start from Queensland Suns. New South Wales do have a bit of work to do on their hands, but... It is a very long game, so lots of them can sort of, let's see what they can do in this quarter. So Jordan, great placement. Oh, Welma! And gets the job done. Oh, let off with a footwork call from Knight. That's so unfortunate. Did everything defensively correct, like went around the body, got up for the tip, and then just on a footwork call. Thompson. Strong at the back for the Suns. Has to play it back. Goes back door. And that's Hutchison, the wing defense bid for the Sky Blue. Oh, long ball into Helmai. Great take. So they've just started to find their feet here in New South Wales. Is it too little, too late? Who knows? Time will tell. Oh, Thompson, don't, he's not just a holding shooter. Fakes him out with the jump and gets a clear shot. He's shooting at 100% right now. Aaron Mala, he's had a lot of work off the line to get the center pass receipts. Oh, and great defensive pressure from Vincent Cook. 
the ball, as the ball sort of dribbles over into the free flow court through the middle of Bendat Stadium. So goal line throw in. Aramala with the ball. Finds his... Yep, has to do the swing. Baseline free. That's lovely work by Vimpany. Aiming for the finish. He'll get the penalty shot again. And how am I doing a great job just protecting and screening for him? He'll line up and delivers. So 11 plays four in favour of Queensland. Jordan, he's definitely the playmaker. Oh, that was three pass play. That was pretty netball to watch in this 23 and under division. New South Wales have to try and find his defensive strategy to really limit the ball into Thompson because he is their main shooting target. Oh, how am I? Great hold. Gave himself a lot of space at the back there to drive towards the post in. We've got four minutes left to play in the first quarter of the championships here at Bendat Stadium. Queensland, very strong quarter. They are the reigning champs. They're not here to play around. Oh, Aaron Marla got through two defenders there. Quick footwork from Aaron Marla. Oh, how am I just needed to open up on the other direction? Here come the Suns. Good defensive pressure there from How Am I. Just gets called a contact. This Queensland side is up and about right now. Great long court connection. Mrs. Jordan, he'll get on the transverse line. Swings the pocket and opens up. No. Ball out of court through the bread bucket. Oh, here we go. Here comes the Sky Blues coming back down. They've just got to work themselves in. Hit nice underarm pass, a softball pass. Finds Aaron Marlow, circle edge. Opens up Helmai. He's open if he wants it. Oh, great defensive pressure. Oh, called for the contact. Vincent Cook doing a great job in there. And look at what he's doing early now. He's sort of understanding where the feeders are and where he needs to be. All right, so how my opens the circle right up just to get off that zone-type defense, that split circle. Plays it along. Good sportsmanship as Vincent Cook collects how my But play continues already down the other end. Thompson through the legs, and it'll be a New South Wales feed. New South Wales really struggling down here. Here we go. When they found their rhythm, they're quite fast through the court. Comes the wing defence. Hutchison, he comes from, he's one of the ACT boys that we spoke about earlier. Joining this team for the 23 and under. And footwork call against Helmai. They didn't need that. Oh, Seldon with the dummy. Still on the sidelines. Needs to centre it. They're just allowing people to punch through when they're ready. And that's Cron. Finds... Oh, great shot by Thompson. 14 plays, five. Jordan. And just the timing and understanding of these two shooters at such a young age is something to behold. Like, this is the future of men's netball right here in this 23 and under division. How am I? Front space. And there'll be a shot, at, a penalty shot at goal. Vimpany delivers for the Welshman. Well done. And just a contact call. And screened by Thompson. Does the pass off. Thompson. He is unstoppable in this first quarter. Aaron Marla goes long. Comes up for a fly. Helmai upstretched. 
There'll be obstruction call against Vincent Cook. And great goal. Through the middle comes Thompson and the alley-oop. Oh, no. Welma cleans it up. Oh, Aaron Marlow just flying through the court here now. Great passage of play from the New South Wales team. It's that final execution. Swing ball. And there's how my opening. And nicely done from how my finds his way in. Oh, defensive pressure from Price. Knight will get them going on a sideline throw in. Has to go back to Hutchison. Hutchison finds Aaron Marla. And again, great defensive stoppage from the, the Queensland Suns here. So sideline thrown in the goal third. And there's the opening there for Helmai. And Helmai will deliver again. So here's the, the man, Jordan, that we spoke about. Long ball, Welma had a great read on that one. Quite predictable on that one. Here comes that space marking here. If you can see it at home, it looks like the number five on a die. But New South Wales equally up to the task of breaking that zone quite nicely. Yeah, so Vimpany really needs to get inside the circle as they play a split circle looking for the lob. And there's that defensive handover pressure from the Suns. Aaron Marler will get a penalty pass on the outside. Oh, bullet pass! Bullet pass from Aaron Marler. Woo, that one had some heat on it. Can they do it again? Is this the comeback from the New South Wales men? Baseline drive. Oh, eaten up. And that is time for the first quarter. Queensland with a very convincing start to their championship. 16 goals to 10. They lead New South Wales. Let, stay with us right after this. After this, be interesting to see what coach Aaron Coughlin does with the New South Wales 23 and under side. Stay with us.
And welcome back to Bendat Stadium here in Perth, who are hosting the Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Nationals for the 2023 season. All games coming to you and proudly sponsored in the Eminent Champs by Blade and WA, Great Temptation Sweet Treats, Spud Shed, West Coast Fever and Netball WA. Thank you very much to our sponsors for creating this amazing event. As we have the 23 and under division, Queensland Science got off to a flying start here, 16 goals to 10. New South Wales, how are they going to respond in kind? It doesn't look like there have been many changes, so both coaching teams just looking to keep the same. And Thompson, he was a danger man for them early. And that's his first goal for the second quarter. Just want to point out, so Thompson actually shot 14 from 14 in that first quarter at 100%, so... That's exactly what you want from your shooters heading into a chance. Oh, long ball to Helmai. And he's starting to find his rhythm. Got was a bit, bit unsteady in the first couple of minutes. I think that was just New South Wales trying to find their rhythm against a strong defensive structure, but they really came good towards the back end of that first quarter. So swing ball. So Jordan. Oh, there's a triangle that they didn't know he needed. Oh, ball out of play, so had to reset. And you can see exactly what they want to do. Thompson very clear with his direction. And just the way that the two Queensland shooters rotate the circle, it's very pretty to watch. They just instinctively know where each other are. So Aaron Marla, he'll look in. Better place ball too from him into Halmai. And found him on the baseline, so he'll get a penalty pass. Oscar parcel shot. Vimpany. Nice breathe on the shot, and they collect again. So going goal for goal early in the second quarter here. Thompson just so strong in the air. Knows his space along the baseline very well. That's the cross court. Aaron Marla connects to circle edge. An obstruction call, use of the arms from Thompson. So you can actually, oh sorry, Vincent Cook, so you can see him trying to gauge space. And the little drop off pass to Halmai, who puts it down again. Setting the screen. And Instant caution for the goal defence from Queensland. I'm not too sure what that was about, but, you know, that is one person you do not want to annoy on the courts of the Nationals is the umpires. Jordan makes them pay down the other end. So still 20 goals to 13, so seven goal margin. And straight away, yep, gets called for the contact. So does the, I'm not too sure if it was just a bit of, Back chat, but that might get him into trouble very early. Do the Suns look at potentially changing something if that, if we see that sort of start to come into effect? So the Sky Blues will take the ball on the sideline. Uh, there's Hutchison on the line as a backup as a reset option. Vimpany, how am I putting the big left hand up? There's double team. So yet, yeah, yes, great feed. And how am I just needs to stay strong on that hold? And yeah, how I think that was called for a um, a replay ball. How am I will claim it brief the ring ever so slightly, but play continues. Jordan, where's he going to do with the ball? And just collected on circle edge. Thompson just drops his body. A great hold from Wellmar. And that's another goal to his collection. Still shooting at 100%. And they do, they do like the little shimmies along the baseline, these two. They like to do the little one dodge to make the movement. All right, so 
Defensively, they're looking at playing inside the defense, inside the attacking structure. So they're looking to force wide. Does do the New South Wales team let them have middle channel? So Hutchison, ball in hand, plays it back. Smart play by the centre, going onto the body and then coming off. And how am I asked for it? Oh, Vincent Cook was in front position. And Vimpini makes them pay. Aaron Marler's done a really good job off the transverse line for the New South Wales team. And needs to get it, has to go all the way back. And just placement, really. And got called for the contact, use of the arm to get the position of the ball. I'd love to see how my just sort of stay steady and as the defender comes around him, then he starts turning his shoulders to get a better holding sort of positioning. I'm finding he's moving his feet too much right now and it's affecting where the feeders can really give that ball into him. Oh, Hutchison gets the contact call. Better play here. Yeah, lets it creep all the way in. And Vimpany makes them pay. So they've brought it back to within six. They don't have to win it in the second quarter. Here's the thing. like They've got 30 minutes after this as well. So they've got plenty of time to chip away at this score line. But it's doing all the little things in the 1% and that will definitely help their cause. Should New South score off this long court conversion, then they get their own centre pass. It's back to a four-goal game. But must have this conversion. Oh, loose ball. Aaron Marla tries to keep it in. And it'll be a sideline here to the Queensland Suns. So what is the Queensland Suns front line looking to set up here on this play, in this transition play? Oh, nice little look away pass from Jordan. Oh, draw the defenders so that Thompson was free. That was a lovely shot there. So back out to seven. Aaron Marla having all the time in the world on there. How am I putting in his hand up quite early? I'd like to see them connect a little bit closer inside the goal third before he looks to shoot the arm up. Oh, screen ball. Oh, had a good look at it. Wish he had a go. All that time to look at it. So, yeah, more discipline. Needed from the Queensland defensive circle. Those are those easy gift penalties that at a Nationals, one goal could be the difference between a first place finish or a fourth place finish. You know, in a division like the 23s, which is so closely contested, you do not want to give any team an advantage by ill discipline. And Vimpany gets the receipt. Oh, early in. There he goes. Well done defensively. <laughs> Hutchison doing a good job. A contact call. So I just want to touch on that, on the goalkeeper for the Queensland Suns. Did everything correct, went around the body and came through the ball. Nothing but daylight between him and the shooter. So great defensive work earlier on from that last passage of play. Thompson screams along the baseline and draws the defender to open up Jordan. They, they really know this circle very well. So Vimpany or goes to Hutchinson. Aaron Marla with the ball. How am I looking in for the... Vincent Cook has a look. Oh, great tip. So New South Wales will have the ball on the baseline. They like doing this where the shooter stays out of the circle before running into post. 
And I don't know if that's tactical or if that's because they want to just open the circle up. Jordan connects into Crone. Crone finds Thompson. Getting that front position. I see. Oh, Wilma! Oh, that got tricky. Oh, the vertical on that. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Mala deep. Fine circle edge. Elma. Oh! Great contest in the air. How am I strong in the contest? So 26 plays 18 in favour of the Suns. And as we see, we've got Rudy Ellis in the substitution box for New South Wales. So we have seen the substitution box being played out in these uh, Abner Champs. So basically, like in Suncorp Super Netball, uh, it's just a free-flowing sub, but the sub must come all the way off into the substitution box before the person from the bench can come on. Rudy Ellis, very much a stalwart of this New South Wales team. Been in the game for a number of years, so he'll be there just to... Oh, and a strong from Helmai and gets the contact call. And that was smart play. And Rudy Ellis! That's the impact you want from your, from your bench. Helmai showing strong front position. Draws the contact against Vincent Cook. And again, I'd just like to see Helmai just, just stay nice and strong. You can see him moving his feet. And there's the goal from Vimpany. And long cross court from Ellis. He's just got delicate feet, footwork, doesn't he? Just knows exactly where to be and when to turn the pace on. How am I strong rebound in the air? And great job. So still a six-goal margin. So they've kept in touch this quarter. It was in the first five minutes of the first quarter that they sort of really let themselves down. But that, you know, that could definitely be down to nerves as we kickstart the championships. Never an easy ask when you're up against the reigning champs. Oh, there goes Wilma. And he gets caught for the ob obstruction. And Thompson makes them pay, punishing the New South Wales team. I like Ellis's injection. He has been a nice, steady influence for this New South Wales team. Oh, and as I say that, he just sort of pulled off that lead and the flying centre from the Suns comes through. Up in the air. Strong take. Whips the ball. Yeah, it goes the way of the Sky Blues. So they've got... So Wilmar, ball in hand, needs to turn his hips to look down court. And nice defensive pressure, Aaron Marla, long, down to Vimpany. Vimpany looks straight in on the one-on-one, -on -one and it was a, looks like it was of an offensive contact. And now Vincent Cook looks like he has also been cautioned. So both defenders for the Queensland Suns on cautions. Will there, be a, will there be a substitution here made by their coaches or will they just let them ride it out for the rest of this quarter? There's a fine line between sort of pushing the boundaries and then getting a, a caution, oh, sorry, an official warning and then potential send-off. So not one to happen in a champ, so don't want to see that happening. Screen set wasn't used. And nice use of the triangle, even though the pass didn't go. Just look how they inch themselves on the right on ball side. And Hutchison called for the contact. Nice work. Oh, unfortunate. Had the outside arm. And Thompson. Nice and smooth through the net, going through his normal shooting technique. And Halmai gets called for the offensive contact, bumping on the hips. Queensland Suns looking down. There's that little double dodge that I was talking about earlier, likes to shift one way, body weight, but goes the other.
connects to Jordan. And there's that double just likes it. So he pushes off with the right foot and then drives left. That's his go-to move along the baseline. A nice little shooter-to-shooter -shooter connection. Rudy Ellis just giving words of encouragement to his defenders, saying, you're doing a really good job. You're just going to keep working your way around. And Vimpany called for the offside call or the breaking call. And the Sky Blues, okay, if they go quickly, they might get it in time. Ellis fakes, does the fake, has the swing ball all the way across. How am I not ready just yet? Oh, fortunate Aaron Marla gets the ball outside the circle. Plays on quickly to Ellis. Stepping call. Can they hold out? And the time is up, so less than 10 seconds to go. Can they hold off? And the time beats the Queensland Suns. So that is halftime here in the round one of the 23 and under division at Bendat Stadium. Queensland Suns leading 30 goals to 21 against New South Wales. So we'll see you shortly after this and let's see what the coaches come up with strategy wise to bring us back into the third quarter.
And welcome back to the Bendat Stadium here in Perth, hosting the Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Association. All games are sponsored, proudly sponsored by Blade and WA, Great Temptation Sweet Treats, Spud Shed, West Coast Fever and Netball WA. Queensland Suns really shot out early in that first quarter to have a really dominant display. They were up 16 goals to nine and they've just sort of pushed on in that second quarter. They're currently leading 30 goals to 21. I am trying to look for potential changes on court. There has been a change to the centre for the Suns. And it's really hard when the players don't have the names on the back of the T-shirts. So I do apologise. So new centre for the Suns. And Cron gets a call. And looks like Thompson has pushed up into goal attack into goal attack and we've got a new goal shooter at the back. So Vimpany, he's still on. Aaron Marla, he's been strong and steady. So that pass just goes through the bread basket and it goes through Thompson again. Oh, comes out for a fly, does the goalkeeper. That's Watson for the Queensland Suns. Read it early. Gets big hands over. So Ellis with the free penalty pass. How am I up high? Oh, wait, is that Jordan? Jordan has gone in. So he's swung from goal attack into defense. And that's the beauty of men's netball and their ability to be able to switch positions on a dime. Oh, and great feed from the, the fresh centre. Finds his shooter. He'll get the penalty. And nicely done. So Aaron Marlow, Ellis hits the deck, gets straight back up. So you can see the space marking. Oh, just misplaced pass. How am I? Tries to collect. And the ball just out of court, so Queensland's from the side. What can they do? Oh, Ellis with the touch. Holcroft connects in. Oh, looking to go quickly. It's interesting to see the circle dynamic now that Jordan has come out of the circle. So Thompson, very much a playmaker, and it's just a strong, direct target to post for the Queensland Suns. So he hasn't missed just yet. So great injection. Oh, comes out for a fly. And oh, Holdcroft had a look at that. And time off just applies as Vimpany loses his shoe. So Holdcroft with the ball in hand. Oh, excuse me, Holdcroft defending, sorry. Yeah, Jordan's having... Oh, what a... Well, the way that they set that up, both defenders on the outside had a swipe at that ball. And great positioning and hold. Double jump. He's such a strong presence down there. They thought they had a lot to deal with with Thompson in that goal shooter, but little did they know this shooter who's come on in the second half for the Suns, he means business. Oh, good cover by Jordan. An offensive contact against Halmai. A nice connection down. And there's that little right step to the left. Oh, they, they like their left side work and contact on the outside of the circle. Looking for the screen. And Thompson sets himself up. Two on one against the shot. And the ball sort of dribbles in. Come on. 
Direct through the middle here. In comes Thompson. Swing ball to the pocket. Someone's got to go to the ball as they do. And nice deflection. And offloads it. So there has been a change in the goalkeeper position for New South Wales. He's coming in a lot more aggressive, and I like that because he just wants to attack the ball. Just got to get the spacing right now that he's sort of come into the match and get himself around the body cleanly. And footwork call against Ellis. So just some simple skill execution errors sort of creeping into the match. Good teams will punish. And it's, the free pass is inside the circle. So Thompson will look to offload. Oh, goes direct. Oh, he'll say it's a pass. <laughs> Has a bit of a giggle. So back-to-back -back goals here for Queensland Suns. Can they make it a third? So a player that I'd like to highlight who I think has been like, instrumental so far for Queensland Suns has been their wing attacking Cron. He's a little pocket rocker and he's just, he finds a way to get a steady. Ellis, oh, heavy check. Got collected on the way through. And they're just holding time. They're just asking for a towel. Rudy Ellis are just saying, apologies, lads. Scott's, I'm glowing. Just need some, wipe up the glow on the floor that I left behind. Some perspiration. So, New South Wales currently sort of trailing 21 to 36. You know, Kat, what can they do here to get themselves back into this game? So as defenders, they really need their active footwork around. They know where it's going. It's going to go long. He's a crafty shooter, you can tell. Oh, there's that space and footwork. So the grounded foot that he thought was the right one was actually incorrect. So he must plant with one and then the other one can creep themselves close to goal. Force each other wide. Great defense from the Queensland Suns and Thompson. And that'll be a... A, ca a caution for the wing defence for New South Wales. It has been a physical encounter and ball slipped out. So here comes their full court press from the Queensland Suns. So as you can see, they go towards the middle lane, ball side. So all the Queensland players will go off their players, allow them to run into space, and you see them infiltrate. As the ball shifts left, they all go to the left. If it shifts right, all to the right. So what New South Wales need to do is punch through the middle, or they need to go on a body and drive off. And that's the pressure release right here. And Rudy Ellis yelling at his teammates saying, you've got to find the body. That's how you break the press. And that's just the, his experience coming through. And goes again. So that's the New South Wales. How am I not ready for it yet? He knows that there's two. He can't position against them because they're not allowing him that space. And lifted pass. Holcroft. So Ellis will have the penalty. Goes back to circle edge. There's the one-on-one. -on -one. Nicely done. Beautifully weighted pass. And just obstruction call against Watson, has to step aside and away from the shooting arm. And Thompson in the background comes off for the Queensland Sun. His day temporarily done at the moment. He's had a, done a mountain of work today. Hell ball. So here come the Suns again. It is relentless how they just keep punching and going through and working this ball. They're here to win a back-to-back -back champs. Oh, nice work. Front positioning. Really read when the defender was moving around the body to maintain that front hold. Now just needs the goal to drop, and he does. Looks like New South Wales coach is making some changes on her bench. Oh, and I can see a GS bib on Welmer. 
think that might be a smart move. I have a feeling he comes from a basketball background just looking at how he plays. So I'm expecting him to play a really big post-up game. Oh, and footwork court again against Ellis. He's a bit dumbfounded on that one. Play continues. And it's all these unforced errors from the New South Wales team that is allowing this lead to sort of extend out from the Queensland Suns. And you can see the frustration start to creep in for the New South Wales team now. And this is where, oh, great defense. And this is where you get just, you know, you've got to keep composed. You've got to keep your head in the game. Calls may not go your way, but you cannot let that affect how you play right now. Otherwise, it is going to be a long, like, 20 minutes left of netball to play. And in the background, Welmer comes on in that goal shooter role. Something different for Watson to think about as the ball comes back down this next time. Steps on. Shooter comes out and just a ball pass into... The goal attack, and that is delivered. So all shooters firing for Queensland Suns right now. So they're riding on a big high right now. 40 plays, 22. Oh, here comes Wilma. Connects in. Nice shooter to shooter. Jordan. Oh, nails it from mid-range. What a goal. Just a breaking call. Oh, heavy check. He's already on a caution, so that's an official warning now. So for those watching at home, like the next option for him is to come off and get to send off, and they may have to play with six players. You don't want to get it to that point, so hopefully they'll make a switch. Um, and it looks like Aaron Marla might be playing in that wing defense role. You can see him putting the, the WD bib on, on the bench. And again, you know, there's a there's a very fine line when you're playing this game about contesting versus contact and just continuous contact. Ellis really stamps his authority on his one-two landing. Vimpany in middle channel goes long to the pocket. Here's Welma. And nicely done. So it's a free pass or shot. Oh, and those are just the little things in the game where... Wilma put the ball down, but the umpire said taken. So that could have been snuffed up by one of the team from the Queensland Suns, but they weren't onto it quick enough. Vimpany knew the rules of the game. You know, for New South Wales, with Wilma having the beautiful height that he does, I'd like to let him stay post and just work that second or third face pass into the goal third so that he is that beautiful, strong target at the post. Oh, Aaron Mala, where did he come from? And here he goes, space marking of their own. And here comes their reply in kind. And Rudy Ellis really dictating it from the middle. And they go up. Oh, brilliant pass. Long range from Jordan. And I'm so gutted I don't know this name of this beautiful shooter for Queensland Suns. I will get it, though. He'll get another shot at it. And they just add, keep adding to their tally. Nice footwork from Crone. Straight in, direct pass. Would love for him to turn to post. Mid-range, I could definitely see him, but he loves that baseline split. And they continue to add to their tally. So 42 plays 24 here at Bendat Stadium. And a breaking call. And they have to play all the way back to the transverse to Jordan. Smart play. Oh, just get called for the contact. And nice hold from the shooter.
So Suns with the ball on the baseline. Oh, does the post. Got cute with it. They've probably got about 20 seconds left to play here on this third quarter. Round one, 23 and under division. Oh, Aaron Mala, he's had a blinder today for the New South Wales team. He's been one that's been really exceptional. Hasn't given up. Oh, got a little bit scrappy now. Here's an opportunity, though, for the New South Wales team. Footwork call again. So, again, all just these unforced errors really hurting the New South Wales team in this 23 and under division. Ellis gets called for the contact. And great finish from the Queensland Suns. Must go quickly. Oh, great ball. Oh, there's some magic from Wilma. Got to stop the ball. Oh, there's a stoppage. Good defensive win. They can get it down to Wilma. They're going to go long. Oh, and wants to jump up and he gets it. That's two in a row for New South Wales at the closing seconds of the third quarter. Can they make it three? Oh, Rudy Ellis head in hand. They were finding their flow. And that is time here at the end of the third quarter. Queensland Suns still leading 44 goals to 26. Don't go anywhere, folks. We've got 15 minutes of just out-and-out -out netball. They, when the Blues got the ball and they started finding their rhythm, you could really see them sort of finding their way. And with Wilmer and that shooter, I'm looking for big things from him in this next quarter. So stay tuned.
And welcome back here to round one, day one of the Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Association champs, bringing it to you live from Bendat Stadium here in the beautiful Perth, WA. We've got Queensland Suns looking for back-to-back champs. They come out strong in round one, currently leading 44 goals to 26. There have been some brilliant shooting performances. And already just called for the obstruction or the offside, so play continues. And Aaron Mala from nowhere comes out strong getting that intercept. Can they make this count? So, so a couple of changes here for the New South Wales team. So Hutchison in at centre. And then on circle edge. So Jordan out of play. Free parcel shot. Oh, there's a block. So close to timing. Ever so narrow. Jordan can get up. And so another penalty parcel shot. And you can see it wasn't quite comfortable in that one. So Watson eats that one up on the rebounds. And look at Aaron Marler already. He's already hunting. Now he's got to find the one-on-one. But you can see him having a look for something down court that's happening. And great work here from the center. And that big split through the middle. And just gets called for the contact call. An offensive contact just got called for the inside arm, pushing off the board, the body of Jordan. And nicely done. So Jeremy Marchong in that shooter. I told you I'd find out his name. Delivers first goal for the fourth quarter. So Battersby, ball in hand, has to go back to Jordan. And Morton working it in. Aaron Marler goes into the circle. Third defender. And here comes Ma Chong. Very crafty in terms of his body positioning and the ability to get that shooter-to-shooter connection. New South Wales with the ball. Oh, Aramala went long. Wilma cleans up at the back. Just need a bit of patience. Oh, Jordan looked at it. And it's just out the top of the circle is the free penalty pass. Oh, I think it was an offside call. As play continues for the Suns. That's Morton with the ball. So he's come on for Cron in that wing attack role. Oh, the defensive partners did all that beautiful work winning the ball. And they just jammed into one another and just tossed each other out the way. What a letdown. And Ma Chong dribbles in. So 48 plays 26. New South Wales will want to keep themselves Within reach, they don't want to let it blow out by too much, especially not in the 23 under division, which is going to be very closely contested. For those watching at home, do not go anywhere. On show court three next, we have the host team, the West Coast Thunder, 23 and unders, coming up against the Victorian 23s team. Now, if I tell you that there was a bit of a grudge match last year in the semifinals, the West will want to seek vengeance. They got knocked out by the Vicks in last year's semi-final, so they want to have the ultimate payback right from round one. So that is coming up next at 10.45, show court three. Stay tuned with me. I'll be calling that game, so do not go anywhere. And again, that mid-court, that mid-channel press, and delivers the goods. Got, you know, whenever the ball goes out of court, that's a win for the team defensively. Now, if they can convert, it is going to be really interesting to see what they do here. Jordan... Goes long across court. Both shooters going the same direction, so running, thinking the same idea. Ma Chong gets in quick, looks for the split, opens up. Very clever. He's extremely agile and very quick on his feet. Oh, great center pass take. 
And hands by Jordan, so it needs to adjust. And just ball coming through the hips. And here's where I'd like to see Wilma just post. Unlike, but yes, that's better. Oh, they missed him entirely. He's got this beautiful reach. Would love for them to connect to him. There he is. And the jump shot. Let's see more of that from Wilma over the course of the week. You know, this New South Wales team is quite a young team, so I feel like they're only going to get better as the week progresses. Sons with the ball. Morton, what's he going to do with it? What I've had, what's impressed me about the New South Wales team too is they haven't given up. They're still fighting. This defensive end have been on their feet all day and they're still trying, still trying to create their angles, win ball, get deflections. And that's what you want to see because in a week-long tournament, that's what you're going to need, that grit and determination. Looks like Vincent Cook is back on in that goal D role for the Suns. So Vincent Cook will be brought back up. So it looks like the team of Watson and Vincent Cook back in there. Oh, he just snaffled that on the circle edge. He's a... I don't know the name of this centre for the Queensland Suns. He came on in the second half, in the third quarter, and he's just so beautiful to watch, just connects the end so efficiently and just locks them all in. He was a reason, a key person, into how that ball transitioned down court. Battersby with the ball, connects into Holcroft. And again, here's that connect. Oh, fancy footwork from Marchong. Oh, gets... Interesting defense through the legs. He'll look to offload. Oh, great work. Thought it was there. Did everything right. Ma Chong just bounces out. Falls short on that. <laughs> An incorrect throw in. And again, these are the little things that, you know, we need to be better at in the game. You know you're not allowed to touch the, on the, the goal line or the sideline. You know, those are like, got to get your foot up to the line. Not on it or too much distance. Goes all the way back. Here comes Aramala. He's been solid in his work ethic. Oh, here we go. Here's Rudy Ellis with a GD bib on. Okay, this could get, I think this could open up things here for the defensive end as Welma collects another sort of, it's almost like a drop layup shot. Can they get a back-to-back -back goal here? And good defensive wall from the Suns across the transverse line. They're really making them work for it. Has to go back. So Holcroft gets called for the penalty. Here's Wilma up and delivers. And there's that jump shot again, close to the post. I think that could be a key as New South Wales progresses. Really working and developing how he gets the ball into post. Oh, Ma Chong, just so good. The spacing, he was right at the top of the circle and went straight to the baseline, created all that space for himself. So good. Ellis and Hutchison just get caught out. Oh, you know, it's one of those things. You just got to be confident and just deliver the ball straight away. Aaron Marla just called for the stepping. And Ma Chong had good defensive pressure. And again, they're now they're reverted back to a one-on-one. -on -one, so contact against Battersby. So they find their way through. Oh, it's just not quite confident to release that ball when he needs to. Oh, Ellis! What's the right idea? Opened up very nicely, just the connection missed. As we're watching the Victorian team 
in the 23 and under division are watching their division being played out in front of them. They've got the host host team, WA, the West Coast Thunder lads up next in the 23 and under division. There will be some amazing matchups next game as Vincent Cook gets picked up for stepping. Here we go, but nice to play. Oh, and Welma strong in the air. He is just so lethal and tall and just so much arm, like so much control in the air just to get that ball to post. And it's just like a flick into the post. Oh, Machong strong on the front hold. And just some fancy half screens there by Machong. And again, so the score has gone out. So it's 53 plays 30. So 23 goal margin. New South Wales will get the ball on the sideline. They're just stuck here. Oh, and just ball out of court. So again, another opportunity. Oh, and just the push off from Wilma. Such a shame. Everything right, though, apart from that final push-off. Here come the reigning champs. They really want to put their foot down on this game. Ooh. Long three. Battersby makes them pay. Queensland Suns have the centre pass again. Oh, just that front space. Just obstruction on the landing. So as they land, they must be within, they must be three feet or more. So they can't go into the shooter's shooting space or within three feet of it. So they've got the contact against Holcroft. Wilma's up and gets that right arm outstretched and gets that jump shot going early. Morton connects down. That split. It's so quick. Ellis comes through, though. Was on the ball, so we'll get called for out of play. Just a cheeky grin to the, our officials today. And Machong, Jeremy Machong makes him pay. So here comes another one. Holcroft doing a ton of work in defense for the Queensland Suns. Big shout out to all the families who are, you know, may not have been able to make the trip over to Perth this year, supporting from home. I'm glad to bring you this coverage courtesy of Clutch TV for you today. So more changes coming. A few minutes left to play in this one. Oh, great defensive pressure. They're so acute and aware of what they're doing defensively in terms of shutting down the strong options. So Suns with the ball in hand. Can they get another one? Playing it back. Has to go wide. Morton looks up. There's Marchong at the back. So steady for the Suns. Ellis will look at the back, tempt him, and say, just tricking. Wilma comes out of the circle. Oh, again, right idea. Oh, got the feed. Suns with the ball. Can they get it in early? Goes wide, down the right flank, straight into Marchong. He'll line it up. Oh, is that his first miss today? I'm not too sure. Hey. 
I put the mockers on him. He's like missed two goals in the last couple of seconds. So steady though and so strong for the Suns. And just more direct path. So they've got a double team on Welma. So it needs, yeah, a good draw from the goal attack. Sets up the one-on-one -on -one and Welma strong at the post. And breaking call against Battersby. Oh, great work from Holcroft. Oh, sorry, from Battersby. Wellman's got the arm stretch already. He's got the one on one. I wish they'd release it earlier to him. He's definitely on. And yeah, great job. And interference with the post and gets the goal. And that is full time here on Show Court 3, Bendat Stadium, your 23 and under division, round one. Queensland Suns going out victors, 57 goals to 34 against New South Wales. Great game of netball to kick off this national champs. Please stay with us. We've got the home team, West Coast Thunder 23s, coming up against the Victorians at 10.45. We'll see you then.